In this video, I'll show you how to inscribe an equilateral triangle inside a circle. Inscribed means that the various vertices of the polygon will be on the circle. So like the points at the ends of the triangle are all going to be right on the circle. So this is how you do that in GeoGebra. I've already expanded this so that I have more tools. And the first thing I'm going to need are some of my basic tools. I need some points to just define a circle with. So here's A and B. Take my compass tool. And here is a circle with radius AB centered at point A. And actually, all of my work is going to be right around here. So I'm going to recenter this right in the middle of my screen using the Move tool. And an interesting thing about circles is, is that I can connect up circles around the edge of this to get some equally spaced points. And that's what I'm going to need to do to do this. So I'm going to take my compass tool again, same radius, but now it's centered at point B. And that'll give me a point C on that intersection. Same compass tool, same radius AB, but now centered at point C. I mark that intersection. I take my compass tool, radius AB, but now it's going to be centered at D. You'll notice each of these intersect A because the radius of the circle is the same distance all the way around. So they're always going to intersect A. And each of these will be spaced one radius apart. So let's keep going with this. I'm going to mark my next point and take my compass tool, same length as always, but centered here now. And I'm going to mark that point. And technically, I have all the points I need now because that point is also the one I would get if I finished this pattern, which I'll go ahead and do so that you can see that pattern because I think it's an interesting pattern to see that if I create a sixth circle and they're each centered one radius apart like that, that exactly six of them fit equally spaced, and it finishes up touching this. And if I want it to look like a flower and I want to finish my whole pattern, I can even do one more and have one centered at G. And I don't need this circle or this circle in order to be able to do my construction. But if you appreciate the symmetry of this and it bothers you not to finish, you're allowed to. And what that leaves me with is six equally spaced points. Some of you may now be wondering why we need six points for a triangle. And in fact, we don't. But we do need equally spaced points in some kind of three or a multiple of three. And now I'm going to use the Show Hide Object tool because this gets kind of involved. So I am going to hide my circles so that you can see just the points they left. And this is something that you can do if your constructions get cluttered so that you can see that I'm left with these six equally spaced points. And so if I use my segment tool and connect every other point, then I've created a triangle with equally spaced points. And that'll mean that the angles are the same and it's an equal equilateral triangle, technically an equiangular triangle, but it'll also be equilateral because triangles are always both if they're one. And I can check that by seeing that each of these angles measures 60 degrees as they would have to in such a triangle. I don't have to do that, but I can. I could also check that these are exactly the length I expect 
by changing their settings to show that length. I could show a label of their value. And if I do that for each of these, then I will be able to see their length. But I don't have to. This is just a way I can check my work. And then using the Move tool, if I move this, you can see it all moves the same because I set it up all in relationship to this radius AB. So simply by changing B, I change the whole thing, and it stays all the same relationships. The angles stay the same. The measurements scale the same, and it remains an equilateral triangle rather than some other kind of triangle. And maybe I want to go back into show hide object and show the whole construction at this point. 